Hello everyone, Richard here again. Thank you very much for the subscribers I got from my last video where I dehydrated some butter chicken. Today I'm going to make a chicken madras and dehydrate that. Uh, but first, got to get the chicken. So when I was on my trip to the Himalayas, I bought some uh, long slender grains of rice back with me, which I cooked as per the instructions and then laid out on my dehydrator trays. This wasn't sticky rice like the jasmine rice that I used last time, so it was dehydrated in about uh, three hours. And once it was all dried, I transferred it into a Tupperware pot to use later. My um, son gave me this incredible knife. Um, it's really sharp and I, I use it for everything. And uh, you've got to be absolutely on the ball with it because you, know, you don't concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> daisies Well, that was uh, quite something. Sorry about that. Um, I think I caught it in time. Seems to be working all right. So, great. On with the cooking. So I put the chicken breasts into a baking dish and then added about a pint of hot chicken stock. I thought it was important that the chicken breasts poached a little bit and kept the moisture. Once the stock was in, I covered with tin foil. And put in the oven. 180 degrees, which I think is about um, 4 billion Fahrenheit. For about 40 minutes. Once the chicken was cooked, I transferred it onto some kitchen paper to dry off before separating the fibres very, very carefully, making sure there weren't any great big clumps of chicken.
I then covered the chicken in a lot of curry powder, covered with cling film and put in the fridge to marinate overnight. So here are the rest of the ingredients. Starting on the left, we've got some garlic and then the uh, spices are, and the herbs are cumin, coriander and turmeric. There's some chopped red pepper, three large red onions, some chopped ginger, three chopped chilies and some hot chili powder. I've also got four cans of chopped tomatoes to add to. So I DC'd and then chopped the chili and then did pretty much the same with the red pepper. Before I cut all the skin off the ginger and chopped it up finely. So to a hot pan, I did a tiny amount of olive oil and then all the onions and soft them off before adding some garlic. Now I lost a bit of footage here, I don't know where it's gone, but after I sweated down those onions and the garlic for about 10 minutes, I then added the cumin, coriander powder and turmeric together with hot chili powder. I then let that cook for about 10 minutes till it was more fairly dry in the pan. I then added four cans of tomatoes, stirred it all up and let it cook for about 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, I did the taste test and it, <laughs> it blew the top of my head off with the spices. And so uh, I found in my freezer a block of uh, frozen mango puree that I'd been using for something else. So I thought this might soften the blow a little bit, so I added that. But it didn't do that so much. So <laughs> I ended up adding three tablespoons of light brown sugar and that brought the taste just right. So I let it simmer for about another five or 10 minutes before putting it in the blender and making it into a fine paste. and then covered the dehydrating trays with parchment paper and divided the sauce between them, leveling it off with a ladle. And so five trays of the sauce went into the dehydrator overnight. Well, it's a massive fail. I cannot get the mixture even slightly off the parchment paper. Every tiny little bit. I don't really know why this happened. My previous recipe, um, Kevin's butter chicken, that I really used the same method of parchment paper on my dehydrator, it came off fine. You can see in the cutaway there. But I think I need to uh, wait for my fruit roll trays to arrive and they'll be the best bet. I've had them on order for mm, three weeks now and uh, I think they're going to be coming from the Far East so they could take up to another week and I'll try those. But I will post this video and maybe one or two of you could give me an idea of why you think uh, this time the mixture stuck to the baking tray. But once I've done it I'll use exactly the same mixture and recipe. I'll use my fruit roll trays and I'll make another video where I'll do the taste test. So at least I had rice and I had my chicken. So I vacuum packed both of those, put them in the fridge and I was looking forward to having a successful attempt at the sauce. Well, this is absolutely bizarre. I was just putting the final touches on that um, video to put on YouTube. There's my laptop there. And I was complaining about the time these fruit roll trays were taking to arrive. And there was a knock at the door and here they are. Now, I, w I won't wait 
um, until I've done that recipe again before I post the video uh, because I'm, I'll be interested in some suggestions as to why those that baking parchment didn't work. I'll crack on with the uh, recipe again probably tomorrow evening and uh, put up part two and see if it's been a success with the fruit roll trays. Yay!